Hi, I'm Rosie Morrell and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'd like to talk about three things. I have some things written down to help prompt my memory. So, first of all, I'd like to talk about um, that, the fact that I'm actually on a calorie controlled diet at the moment and the reasons behind that. Two, I'd like to then talk about why I think men may prefer larger ladies. And then three, I'd like to talk about the data that I'm collecting regarding sexual therapy and some interesting um, fantasies and f that I have found out since collecting that data. So, <clears throat> I recently I've put on between four and five pounds. It's happened very gradually, but I, um, I, I feel like my clothes are getting a bit tighter and I just want to be healthy and I don't, I, I don't want to feel well overweight and feel too tight in my clothes. It makes me feel depressed. Now then, this has made me consider a lot of things about weight and how our society views weight and why, you know, when I, if I put on a bit of weight, it definitely goes around my belly. I've, I've naturally got a bit of a uh, belly anyway. My, my stomach isn't naturally flat. Um, but it will, I will get, the, my belly will get bigger and my, and my breasts as well. <clears throat> now, um, and then I, t it tends to go on like my bottom and my thighs kind of last and my face gets fuller as well. So I've been considering why we have such a thing about slimmer being better in our current society. Um, and I was talking to my partner Marcus about this, so um, I'm bi-curious, I've never had a bisexual experience, but I'm curious to have one, and I, I find women who are more curvaceous more attractive than women who are really skinny or, or very, very, very slim. And my partner Marcus actually f feels the same way. He he actually, in the bedroom, he actually loves a larger lady and he loves very curvaceous women. Now, how does this relate to um, my data and some hypothesis that Marcus and I have, collect, have thought about? Now, um, the data that Marcus and I collect, so as I've mentioned before, I'm a sex therapist and I'm collecting um, anonymous data on different sexual fantasies that men have. Now currently um, I have worked and I've collected data on over 400 men. Um, now how um, we collect this data is um, whenever a, a man dis expresses a desire this is logged so for example, if they only talk about women who want to dominate them, this would only give one entry in the data. If they expressed a further two different desires, this would then give them a total of three entries into, in the data. So one person would have three entries. The reason why we have collected the data in this way is because we are unable, well, it's really difficult when you're giving therapy to someone to to ask, oh, can I just take have a quick survey? Um, but it's a lot easier to record their desires after um, after you've given them therapy. And of course, I um, make them. I may always make them aware this. I'm collecting anonymous data and everything else to get their consent. But um, you know, it's a lot easier to do that. Um, so basically, oh my earrings just fallen out. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so basically, um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, so ba basically, the data therefore records the desires they present through their own free will of coming to see me. So <clears throat> the the highest desire which is 13% um, out of all the categories I have of all the different desires I've, I've come across with the men I've worked with, 
is um, related to incest, but it's particularly with their mothers. So it's either mother figure or their actual mother. And most of the time it is their actual mother. So, and that's the, for, that's for people, men coming to me for sexual therapy regarding this design, having difficulty with it or whatever, or wanting to understand why they've had this. So basically, Marcus and I have considered this data with our own, alongside our own desires and alongside our own research we have done. And we have a hypothesis or a theory regarding this that perhaps, um, uh, uh, in, so regarding why we, um, you know, maybe me and Marcus prefer larger lady or curvaceous ladies and maybe what could men prefer larger ladies. So basically what we've thought about is obviously when you're born your mother is 20 or 30 times bigger than you. Now when especially when you're born the connection is essential for you between your mother to um, for your survival and your safety basically and you naturally will feel safe going to your mother when you're born um, because it's the place you came from and within six seconds of a baby being born you uh, the baby will recognize its mother from smell and sound hearing her voice and smelling her so <clears throat> That all goes into play. Now, to enjoy sex, you have to feel safe as well. So, we, you're at a subconscious and emotional level, even though you consciously you will not remember being born or, you know, the chances of remembering that are highly, highly unlikely at a conscious level. But it, it will be there, that in a, at subconscious level, it will that those emotions, that feeling of safety and nurture, will that that memory at a sub deep subconscious level will be there. Um, now, it's also believed that sexual development starts in the womb. There have even been scans of baby boys looking like they're masturbating in the womb. They they put it. They're looking exactly like that. From these scans so and it makes sense that sexual development would start at day one anyway because you know we're sexual creatures and we've got um, a lot of you know we've got hormones even though we're not any even though babies don't obviously aren't going through puberty they still have hormones going through their body and their sexual organs are still sen highly sensitive so um, it would make sense that would happen. Now, this is just some food for thought and some things I've also thought considered of why in our society maybe slimmer seems better because this again will go back to an evolutionary or instinctual trait because when, if you, when you appear to look at a slimmer person compared to a larger person this is all subconscious and this has all been tested in psychology that you will subconsciously maybe think the larger person could be um, more unhealthy um, therefore than the slimmer person because, because they could have fat around their organs, high cholesterol, all of these kinds of things so therefore if you were to mate with the slimmer person you're young are um, more likely to survive because they've got um, they, it's, uh, they've got a healthier body. So this is all happening at a subconscious level when you're meeting people and it, you have all of these thoughts within seconds. All of these um, things are being triggered within you within seconds because of what we you know and understand about our weight and bodies. But um, the other side of it is that you know why why the why men have a thing for their mothers so and possibly could like larger women so it's just some food for thought and some things to consider 
if you have any questions um you can email me on my email address which will be in the description of this video i'm i'm also put my websites in the description so you can look them up too thank you so much for watching god bless and namaste